question that popped up in my mind yesterday, and I, I thought I heard you guys maybe mention it earlier too, or maybe it was a caller. Like, what what do we have defensively? Do we have any players that would even start on another team? Like, honestly, like this is a real legit question. Uh, right, uh, right, right now, now, I mean, could Okuda be like a slot corner for a different? Aiden would probably Aiden, Aiden would probably start, but he'd be not on a great team, but he'd he'd play. But even to that, you'd... okay, he would play. He'd probably be a rotational guy right now. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Right. Like, what other players do you have on this defense? That you, like you you know what I mean? Yes. Like, is this team better than they were last year? In my opinion, they are because the offense is clearly better. But I think the defense is the exact same, if not worse. I mean, they have pretty much the same players that they had last year, and they're playing worse than they did last year. You know what I mean? And they've even made a couple. We thought Hutchinson was going to be improvement. I thought, you know, Rodriguez is going to be a huge improvement. Those guys are rookies. I get it. They're not finished products by any means. But that was just something that was really, really blatant. Obviously, yesterday watching these games was like, all these teams have playmakers. They have difference makers. The Jets, you watched Quinn and Williams yesterday, oh, completely destroy was, uh, that game. Yes. They have difference makers. They have players that can take over games. We don't. We're not even close. So it's like, uh, for me, it's you got to find that balance of, Okay, yeah, these other coaches are having success, and Dan Campbell's, you know, one and four. And but then when you you combine everything together, you say, well, uh, what other coach can can Robert Sala come here right now and turn this defense into a top ten defense with these players? Probably not. Highly doubtful. Highly right? doubtful. Could any but, other coaches come in and turn this this, th- this group of players into you know uh, some stud play? Like, I highly doubt it. I, you know? I I agree, but I think the reason that people are somewhat skeptical and rightfully so about Dan is the game management uh, side of, of it. That's of what that's what it is. If, yeah. If they if he didn't do anything that was outlandish, so to speak, and they just lost because they were out, man, I don't think people would people would understand. Yeah. What you can't understand is where we're giving the benefit of the doubt for rookies and first-year players to get better. We have to have the same standard for the coach, and the coach during the game has not gotten any better than he was last year. Yeah, and that's why that's the problem. And that's that's the biggest issue with Campbell is, yeah. is that when you're when you have a team like this that needs to do so many things right and need to have you need to have so many things go your way just to have a chance to win the game. Yeah, right. You can't lose because of a bad decision you right. know what i mean and we've seen way too many of those now that kind of goes back to my first point though we've seen campbell his willingness to adjust and be different that's the one aspect that he's going to have to improve on majorly because that's the one area of his game we have not seen improvement we've seen we've seen his willingness to change schemes yes. and, and personnel and and coaches but are you gonna Are you gonna look in the mirror and say, "All right, I'm not going for it on fourth and eight from the 28 yard line right. anymore. I'm but not I, gonna do this. I'm not like I'm just gonna go let the players play." Even yesterday, you watched the Jets game. Like, okay, yeah, fourth and one, punt it back, right? Our defense playing pretty good. You feel the game out. Like, there was just no stupid decisions that cost any teams yesterday. And that's like, al- although, by the way, your former coach turned into Dan Campbell early in that game. They had Who like, was that McCarthy? They had like fourth and one at their own thirty-four, oh, and they yeah. tried to pass play. I, I don't know what's going. There's like a pandemic going on with fourth down calls. Like, not even in the uh, pro. Like, you watch college games on Saturday, and it's like everybody's going. What for is it. going on? Like, are we the fools? Are we the idiots? Like, do we not understand? Do we not get what's going on with this fourth? <laughs> it's just, I, well, I don't know. There's a lot of really, really silly, really stupid decisions when you look at I, I think they're silly. I think they're stupid. They're, th- they're decisions that I wouldn't make, um, but they're being made. And I think when you're talking about Dan Campbell and those that are still Dan Campbell supporters, they see those as aggressive calls. Right. Those that don't like Dan Campbell or think that the Lions should move on from Dan Campbell look at those as gambles. That's yeah. I think that's the, the complete different perspective that you're looking at is it's it's between gambling Dan and aggressive Dan. Yeah. And the one area that I don't want him to change is his aggressive nature because I think that the players uh, really like it. I, I I say that like right. talking to some of the guys like the offensive linemen they're like when when he calls you know run play of fourth and one we love it because he's putting that belief in us to go. Get that first down, you know? Right. Uh, now, from the outside looking in, is it the smartest thing to do? Probably not. But from, from a player's perspective, uh, that's something that I, I don't really want him to lose that yeah. that aggressive edge. But I, it, yeah. there are times where you have to feel the game out. When you're playing New England against a third-string quarterback and it's 6 nothing. 
Fourth and nine. <laughs> uh, points are pretty important. You Fourth know what I mean? Nine. So it's just like yes. feel the game out a little bit better, and, and I hope that I hope we don't see too many more decisions cost them uh, the rest of the season. 